You know, like I said, I can't, I can't get upset. You know, I can't police no one, but I just, no race should say that word. No race. It doesn't matter. No race should say it. It's, it's nothing positive about that word. I don't care how you spell it, how you pronounce it, how you say it. It's just, it still is negative. There's history behind it. It's very controversial. And just watching, um, I, I think it was a clip that I saw maybe a couple of months ago. And I don't really like to look at stuff like that, but you know, they were showing, you know, um, the YT were beating, um, the blacks with the sticks and stuff and had the dogs to go after them. It was, it was very disturbing, very traumatizing. I just, I just and this was in the sixties. So it was, it's just, mm -mm. it just, I just don't think nobody should say that word, but you know, can't control that. The thing is, is like the word's going to be just replaced with something else. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, every group and every like, if like showing hate towards someone else is going to, there's always been a word to like used against them in hate or anger or just anything. So if we get rid of this word, it will be replaced with something else. That's true. I could believe that. And I never thought about that till you just said that. Mm -hmm. See, I, learned, I always learn something from the, from people that's younger than me and that's okay. And, that's and that being said, like, I don't think there will ever be a time to where they will, anybody will find a word that would be able to replace that word, whether it's, E R or whether it's A. So I definitely don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. No, I agree no, with not. you, Israel. It's not. I said that earlier. I don't think that word is going nowhere. It's going to continue. You need to, the best, like we already agree, it's not going anywhere. So the best thing to do with it is to evolve it. What do you mean? So what I mean is, like, like I said, try to change it in a way that's more positive like like daily it's used in a positive light like a my brother or tough stuff like that you change it and evolve it from what it once was because this ain't going nowhere you can't stop people from using it entirely you can't erase it so you either change it or well fuck it so you're saying allow everyone to say the word See, i'm like what else can you do well, mm, the thing is with this word is it's got literally hundreds of years of trauma attached to it. So just allowing everybody to use it is not going to be a very good solution. Because like I said before, the trauma keeps reoccurring. Right. And as I said before, even if you get rid of this word, another word will show up. So there's a, literally just a negative all around. So are you are you trying to change the are you trying to change the word or the way that people look at us as as human beings because I think that's the biggest issue. It doesn't matter. It, I I also agree it doesn't really matter about the word. I think it matters about who you're putting that word to. And and on top of that, for us as Black people, how much trauma we've gone through with it, I think that's that's a clear indication on where that that connection goes to. Because yeah, you can you can have another word come up, but is is it the word or is it the how people look at us as human beings is what is what the ultimate situation is because that's what how the word came apart is the way we look. Mm -hmm. So it's not it really isn't the word. It's the fact that we're still looked at as animals as wild animals, and that's the reason why people are calling those names. But also, uh, Kato, I want to say something to you. I kind of thought it was kind of I I I I thought it was kind of a bad move when you kind of you know let that hispanic person go because i think that could have been a good opening because i think that just for me in my opinion for for my area and from what i've been seeing a lot of people who are brown use that word well oh, oh, okay so i'll say this i mean i only did it like this just to play it safe because i i you know i was just assuming y'all would just want it to be just black people talking about this i just that's why i'm assuming that's why i did it i think that's safe yeah, I just played it safe for y'all because I wasn't trying to hear Jalen DM me like, Kate, I why you let that, you know, Hispanic person. Yeah, but I, but I think but I think because we we, we said it, we said it, we said it a couple of times where it's like everybody uses it. But do we but then we also see like a lot of brown 
uh, a lot of brown individuals are starting to use it a lot in both negative and, and a in their own mind in a positive light. So that's why I was like, uh, maybe we should have kept him on here to see what he had to say about it. Because I don't think he uses it, but I'm pretty sure he's going to bring out the light on like how people around him, how his family, how his friends probably use that same exact word. I mean, it's up to y'all if y'all. I mean, and like I said, we can do. This. I think no, no, no. I just no. I don't think you did. I don't think you did a, a bad thing. I'm just saying. I think it could have been added onto the conversation. And look, mind you, we can also always run this topic again and try again next time for sure. If y'all want to do so, but just to play it safe, I just <laughs> requested for black people to join for now because I think it is kind of something that we do need to discuss as a community. Because like I said, we had the girl Mila on that that guy that felt that way because that felt that way because she didn't think Jayla cared enough about white people saying a word and took her words out of context. And it's like, and that's why I brought the up the example with B I T C H. You know, girls will use it with each other in a different way but it's like the end day that word means you are female dog and you know women are not female dogs they are, they are hey k dot i want to ask you something real quick while you was talking about the b word how do you feel about <clears throat> gay I'm, I'm sorry homo well you know what i mean those type of men saying that word well i don't I, think women, should say. women yeah yeah oh yeah i i think i think it's okay because I think it's oh, because I because I have I have a friend at work who's I have a friend at work who is who who is who is gay and he's black and he and he uses that word with the with the with the women at our job, and they're okay with him saying it. And I would say honestly, when the and I for me, when if a straight guy is going to call a woman a bitch, it's never going to come out right, even if you're joking, because it's like that's true. Yeah, like like gay men when they use it, they get they, past. Yeah, and I, I give them that pass because they don't be using this like they they know how to talk with it. They know how to use it. Yeah, you know, not, especially like, if they're on the feminine side. Because I'm part of the LGBT community, but I don't even use that word either, though, to be honest. But I mean, you know, if they say it, you know, it's a little different. Just like mm -hmm. you said, but when a straight male says it, it don't sound right. It's not that it don't sound right. It's never. It's context, bro. Yeah. No man has ever said it to me like, "Girl, let me give you this tea." He's always said it like. You, you feel me? You right. bum right. ass. Like then he's saying right. it like he's coming at me type shit. That's never the same. Like they don't use it to, in the context that y'all use it in. They're not using it endearingly because they don't use it in that context ever. Because they don't. If a man is calling a woman that he doesn't see her at that level, you get what I'm saying of respect to not say that to her. Right. Even That's if they're feminine. Um... A, I don't a like my male, friends it still it still don't sound right even if a feminine gay guy says it. No, I'm saying when a I'm saying when I don't care if they use it. I don't use it with my friends. Uh we don't talk to each other like that. Uh it's just not empowering to me. But I don't care when other people use I'm the same way. I'm flu, I'm fluid, bro. Like I don't care. <laughs> I have okay, that. What are we talking a about? That way. I have a friend that is and he oh, says God. it to me and I don't feel a type of way about it. He's just calling me sis. Oh, okay. I see. What, oh yeah. Okay. I get what you're saying. I, I think, I think, I think, I think I, to be fair, I only give gay men their LGBTQ men a pass for like saying, calling a woman B-I-T-C-H. Cause even look, I wouldn't even do it. As I said, I wouldn't even do it to women. Cause it's like, even though I can, I can joke and make it, make it come off in a different way, but I wouldn't do it just to play it safe. Cause it's like, <laughs> Well, can I can I add to that? Like, uh, when it's when it has been said to me, and and I have probably used it to one of my friends, it was said to me first. So that way, as a still as a man, regardless if I'm a part of the LGBTQ community, even as a man, I have to know my boundaries and I have to I have to read the room. So if a woman says that to me, then I'm gonna be like, okay, well, it's, okay, it's probably okay to use, and I can go ahead and use it unless they have an issue with it. I stop using it. But normally, it's because we're being we're being called that first, and then that opens the gateway to say, okay, we're on a friend basis where we can cuss each other out like that. Right. So I, I I've, I've never seen it the other way around where we just where we just have like some uh, random person out on the street call some woman the B word without it being portrayed the other the other way. But that's my anecdote experience. I don't know about every other queen or or uh, uh, 
LGBTQ person out there, but just in my experiences, what I've seen and how I've seen things lay out, it's always been, hey, we're going to open up this gateway and then you can see. Uh, real quick, um, Deep just joined. Deep, you see the prompt. We're just going to showtime you for a minute, give your opinion real quick, and then jump back into the conversation. All right. see here should we continue to use the word in okay. as a community or in word okay in word keep one at a time and don't interrupt the host oh no nah, no nah. see see it, it's a weird dynamic because you have it's weird because you have other races of people call themselves ends now see so um but as black people, I think we should stop using it because the N word comes from the hardcore E N E R word, which we derived and made it cool. And since we made it cool, other YT people, Asian people, black people, Hispanic, Arab, West Indian, so on and so on. Now they're using the N word. Even at, look at that um the 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 news that's going on in, Jap in Japan, they're using the N word as well. So I don't. Man, that's, that's a weird. Just now. So time for deep. Let me open the panel back up. There you go. Um, I don't know if somebody can go for me. I just got done speaking. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. I have an early morning meeting. It was nice talking to you guys. Bye, Jayla. Bye, K. Dot. Have a good one. Bye, Paris. Have a good night. Looking for you. He said, "Take words in the part of the." You sound far away, bro. Now I was saying free, free in the comments, free. You know Jesus wouldn't like you saying that word, free. <laughs> Jesus would know that word is offensive. He wouldn't like you saying it free. <laughs> so then, Yo, so then, I, I wish free was here in the debate from yesterday. Man, I put a butt whooping on Capone and them other guys when I was bringing that, that research. So what now, bro? I said I wish you were here yesterday in that debate that me and um me, Jayla, and K-Dot was in as a bunch of Christians. We had a guy named Capone. He he stayed silent for a while. We heard some crickets. That man, ooh, I think he ha he he don't like us anymore. But, uh, anyway, yeah, you all good today? Yeah, I know Capone. I don't know him personally, but I'm familiar with him on TikTok. Like, do he stay? Do he stay in the suburbs where y'all live at? Like, what's up with that guy? I said, do we stay in the suburbs where we live at? Yeah, where you live at? I don't know what state or city he lives in. I just said I know him from TikTok. Okay, I don't know him yeah. personally. <laughs> yeah, when when he get angry, he he sound like he's from the suburbs. I'm gonna leave that alone. But yeah, his dad, his dad is um. He, he just uh, dude, I wonder on him. Real quick, and we'll introduce Free and let him give his opinion on the topic. Uh, Capone just gave out very condescending yesterday. I'll say that. Jayla, yeah, it can be disingenuous. Yeah, very condescending the way he was speaking to a lot of people. It's a defense mechanism, though. Like, like when you're in a, a space where you're like obviously the the have the minority view, it can be like a defense mechanism to be disingenuous. But I think we all do that when we're in those spaces sometimes. But um, I don't know about about this word. Like, like I think I heard Jayla say it's all about context. Um, people take um negative words that have negative origin and they flip it for empowerment purposes, and then that word just becomes enduring and it's all about context about who, who uses it and how you use it um even christian was uh, i think uh, in the early days uh it said that people use christian as a negative thing um but it was actually a, a great thing to those who were actually christian so um you know yeah time's up Right, free gave his opinion. Wait, so I mean, but I mean, but you agree we should continue to use the word in the community? No, I think that um, it all depends on context. I think our our community has literally been using that word as endearment for decades on decades on decades. 
like that that's not going like that's not as as much as we know it has a a negative like origin the it's been flipped for so long now that that flip is embedded in our culture where it's like and now that everyone else is is using it as well I don't see us not using it, but other people are using it. And then us not being offended and then causing more like problems. Like, I just say like, look, like. Well, well, think, well, well, what I'm asking, I'm saying like collectively, do you think we should still be using it? Like if, if, if you have the ability to snap your fingers right now and, and wipe the word out of existence, which you want? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, if I could, yeah, I mean. Okay, okay. I, I, yeah, because, well, I would snap though. Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. Absolutely, because because the origin sucks. So, the origin just means someone ignorant. So unless you're, I wish that we could just use that word for ignorant people across the board. Um, but you're saying like that, so. And so, then, and so then, knowing the definition, right? Just even knowing the definition, then why do we keep using it with each other? Why did we even put that in music or in rap? Why did we even put that in the actual culture to say that we're taking that back as empowerment? Because I mean, I don't understand. Like nobody, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna call uh, somebody a ableist uh, word and think it's empowering. You use it because you're trying to get a reaction out of somebody, a, a negative reaction out of somebody. I mean, I just, I, I still can't understand it. I mean, I, I was born in 85. Um, it was barely used in the house. And normally the way, the way it was used wasn't as like a fun type of kind of thing. It was like, I'm mad at you. And this is what I'm going to use at you to get an arousal. Instead of calling you the MF word, or instead of calling you the B word, I'm going to call you this word to, because I'm pissed off at you. But I, I just, I can't understand it. Um, and like I said, again, it's never been in history before it started being cool. When has it been a good thing to say to somebody? I think it's always been a good thing. The moment, the moment a word is ever used negatively by anyone, the per, the, the people whose name is used against, they'll use that name with, amongst each other to empower it immediately. Like you'll see the rainbow community, they'll use the F word against each other, but doing it in a loving way. If anyone else says the F word derived from, what is the F word derived from? The, the, that's, the, that's the other thing. The N word was, was wasn't the N word actually for ignorant people? What was the yeah, F word? Yeah, it's for? always it's always a negative origin used by but someone the, who who was who was not you, right? But it's, as soon as it's used negatively, the person it's used or the people it's used again against will take that word immediately and use it amongst each other for empowerment. Like like every community does that. Women will use the B word like that. Black people use the N word like that. Rainbow uses the F word like that. Like every every community takes words and, and flips them. Like just not, the F word is not good. But the F word is not it was not yeah it wasn't for the, the N word was was trans was transferred over to uh homosexual. But the um but but the actual origin of it was like a cigarette was like an old woman where it was all types of things it, it came to be um it came to be on the lgbtq community just like earlier the f word is an english word the f word was a, it, it is an english word yeah but it was meant like for, for a cigarette for like uh i think in the dictionary it means like uh old woman right but you can say Never. the same thing for g like like the g word means happy but exactly. as, soon as, exactly. as, soon as, as soon as the word has a negative connotation put on it, as soon as that happens, the people who's, who, who it's applied to will flip it as, an, as endearment to empower themselves. It's just got like a natural thing. You'll, you'll take it from the people and you'll flip it and use it amongst yourselves. Right, but that's not, but that's not, and I'm not trying to cut anybody else off here who are aware of speak, but that's not empowerment. That's literally just being like, hey, which, which I feel like the N-word is, us using it to each other is more of a, a, a white supremacy thing because they don't have to say it that we say it to ourselves. They look at us like, okay, well, you guys are saying, and now I'm mad because you're not letting me say it. It's, it's been like that throughout history. But well, you got white people but saying they won't it say it though in front of us though. They won't do that. They'll only say. But they have. But they. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now nah, they, they, they have said it. 
Yes, they do do that. They do. No, they do not talk about faces. What? I mean, I don't know. The, my generation, they ain't never what? do that. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay, so that's that. What generation are you? Yeah, yeah. Yes, you guys I'm a millennial. They ain't no no white person person never say that in my face. Actually, right? Like, yeah, like I can start they, walking. They might do it amongst wait themselves. They wait, might so do it saying, a song saying, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. You're saying you're saying. Let me just get this straight from both of y'all. You're saying since we stopped being slaves, since we stopped since we stopped being uh, in in this kind of in this really really racist I idealistic world that we live in, all of a sudden white people do not call black people that word no more. Are they you call that, black that, people that, but what you what you're saying is when they say it to our face and personal, they don't say it to my face. Yeah, not sure. No, I'm face, saying I'm saying yes. That, but we have videos. We have videos. We have sweating. videos upon videos upon videos of white people saying it to our faces. So I no, just, no, 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 we're not we're talking about that way. We know there's still people that use it. Right? Oh, we're not on, talking man. about that way. We're talking about the way that they say it to be cool. They won't do that. Hold on, let me. No, 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 no. Uh, so no I, I understand yeah, what Green Deep is saying. I understand what they're saying. I hear, I hear what they're saying now. I know, I hear what they're saying now. It's like, yo, yeah. if, a, if, a, if a white person, a white person ain't just gonna walk up to him, well, I mean, it depends if if y'all in one of them like sundown areas and stuff or East Coast, you know, probably gonna happen. But no white person is gonna boldly walk up and go like, hey, what's up, my N I G G A? I mean, it may I mean, they have. I mean, for me, they have. It ain't gonna be. Oh no, nah, bro. Where, where, you, where you from? That's a bro? rare, where rare occasion. I'm from. Well, first of all, I'm from Chicago, but I moved out to Rockford, Illinois, which is one of the most racist cities in the United States, and that has happened to me many a times. Where they just come up, hey, bro, hey, hey, my N word, thinking it's funny, and I beat their ass, but. They thought it was funny, but it was just like this whole entire idea, like you just walk up to a person like me, a skin color like me, and you can just use that word. So that's but, why but, I was just kind of confused. Nobody, nobody in my generation, racist. nobody in my generation has ever done that. Not to me, thank you. Not, not to me. me. And, 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 that's, and, that's, and that's fine, but I'm telling you, it happened because it happened to me. And you're saying Wait, bro, it bro, doesn't bro. happen because <laughs> it didn't happen to me. But bro, I'm asking you, so when that happens, are they doing it? to be racist to insult you or are they doing both. it to both. to be kind both. to you they have done it they have done it both times oh bro you got a testimony because they ain't never do that to me you know, you know what i'm saying like it, 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 it all depends too like i mean we we watch it a lot of times where the n-word is used a lot more on 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 uh women of color when it comes down to that situation versus men of color i would i would just say just on since everybody else is going to experience i would just say on that experience for me because they're they're I don't know if it's like they threatened by the man or whatever or it's easier or they can get away with it. It's easier for them to get away with it. But I do see that I did see that happen a lot more or heard about it happening a lot more to women than that did it to men. I'm gonna tell you this when, when they if if and when they say it, it's for me it's laughable. It's goofy and I'll laugh I, I've never been offended by hearing them say that word, whether it's in a racist way or if they're, they're trying to be cool way but how do you know that but how do you know that's no, no, no. Actual it, intent? it doesn't matter what way they say it whether they're trying to be insulting or they're trying to be endearing it's it's laughable in both cases where well, we live right. no offense i don't laugh at it in other cases because they don't do it with yeah. But, 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 i'm but, sorry but, 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 if you let them own. make you mad bro then they win like if but you really like, get no. angry about it they won yeah, I, okay, I, so, so if somebody I, on this way, I'm I, I because if you that's if you, the part I don't understand. Why would you get upset when they say it, but you're seeing it too? I mean, I used I'm to, not using I'm not saying it back in the day. I don't use it at all. I don't but, use word I mean, they, I mean, like I said, no race should say it. So, I mean, I wouldn't just get highly upset if I hear a white tea person say it. You know, because nobody should say it, you know, but a lot of black people, they really get up, like really hostile when they hear them. Say that. And, and I want to, I want to, I want to kind of get on that with you, Jay. Like you're saying, why do we get, why do we get mad at people who, who use that word when we use that word, right? So if I was to jump off a bridge because I thought it was, it, 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 cause, cause I wanted to, cause it's cool. Are you going to jump off the bridge because you thought it was cool? Like, that doesn't make any totally sense to me what people I'm 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 not I'm not talking no, about No, I know no 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 hang on hang on. I'm just making that I'm just making that analogy here with, with that kind of situation. It doesn't mean that you have to use that word because you hear somebody else using it. And on top of that, you know the history of it. You know what it's done to to uh, people of color throughout history and you still use that word to a person of color because a 
you got now you got an excuse because we took it back. Somehow we took it back, and now that word doesn't have that much power against us. But yes, somebody else is going to use that up, use that to us, and you don't know, have no idea what's going on in the mind. You could it could be a negative the way they the way they say it. It could sound positive, but they could be doing it as negative. And on top of that, what I want my child. Would I want my niece, my nephew, somebody who's younger, being called that by somebody else? I think at this point, it's healthy that we, like, you know, we took it back. I think it's most healthy that we give it back and we just don't care anymore. What about, what about we just say, bury it? What about, what, we, what whatever way they say it in, whatever way we say it in, I just feel like we should not care at all anymore about it. Hold on. Yeah, but y'all, I'm sorry, but I, I never had a white really person say that to me. I don't care about it. That's, care a, about it. That's, that's a strange bottom. I never I had a white C person say that or even try to say that stuff to me. So, bro, so I, I, I got a video. I got a video. I don't got a video of a woman saying this to me on the street. Question. Let me ask you. Okay, well, post a video on your um. I post it. Yeah, I post it. Yeah. I want to see this. So, let me ask you a question. So, if a YT person said that in your face, what would you do? I just want to know what would you do? I'd laugh. Like, say, say what? what they have, I just don't care, and I really don't care either. Like, at this point, it's 2024, we should just not care at all anymore. What's well, well, saying? So, you want so you don't want care? So, let me answer this question. Wait, wait, wait. Let me answer this no, question. No, no, wait, wait. Somebody, That's a reflection of how bad they're on. They're bad. Yeah, yeah, time, man. Let, let me answer his question. He, he asked me a question. Let me answer it. Uh, say with the ER at the end of it, or with the the either way. Well, most of them gonna say it with the ER, but even no, if it was don't. the UH Ooh. or G, uh, GA, it's still not good. But, but most it's of them not offensive the ER. anymore, y'all. It really is. It's so old. They've been doing it for like fifty years now. It's so old. It's not. It shouldn't even be offensive anymore. It should just be a, a laughable thing. Like I'm laughing at you. You're you're that. Like that's bad on your part. Like you're really bad off if you're using that word against someone. Like I'm not yeah. offended. No, nah, bro. I, I, well, I never had one. Um, not offended what year at all. Were you born, free, free. What? What year were you born? I was born eighty. Oh, you the same? Oh, you was born in eighty also? Yeah. Oh, okay. So look, so I I grew up in elementary school with them saying that, right? But at this point, fam, like I'm not offended, bro. Like we we should be so over this word. There shouldn't be any anger anymore about it. Like at this point, if they say it, it's like, wow, you you are. You like bad that's original. I feel bad for you. You're original. Yeah, well, that's, like, that's I feel bad for part. you at this point. Okay, I, I see. Okay, I see what Free's saying. Look, when I say this, I don't fully disagree, because I don't like to let word, I don't I don't let words get at me anymore. Right? Because I'll be honest with you, when I was growing up, like you know, I used to get bullied growing up. When I was growing up, it wasn't even the racist stuff that bothered me. It was people calling me stuff like the R word and stuff growing up, really downplaying my intelligence and all that growing up. A lot of people used to do that when I was growing up. That's what offended me more. But I got to the point where like when people throw those words at me, I'm like, mm. a lot of a lot of words I laugh off. You know, a lot of stuff does not get to me. And I don't want to give people that engagement because they are trying to get a reaction. And I'm not going to entertain them by giving into it, so they can have a little, so they can have a little moment of, uh, have a little moment and see me down. And I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to be down. I want to be up. I'm hey, bro, I, I'm, I'm like six foot nine. I'm, I'm looking at people on the e evil twin said, "You lucky for where where you stay at, so I can move." Evil twins. So y'all telling me why, why two people been calling y'all this word and y'all haven't been like doing nothing? No, no, no. We're saying we, we have been doing something. They, they've oh. been getting a reaction for decade oh. after decade. We're saying at this point in 2024, who cares? Like, okay, it's, gotcha. it's like we're, I will laugh at you in your face if you do that. And I've been letting it roll off my back so long. I truly don't care now. I'm not just acting like I don't care. I, it truly makes me feel no type of way. But it makes so me feel you like don't you care are really free. so you don't care free. anymore. Basically, that's what you're. That's, that's what I'm trying to understand. Thing. You don't care. Don't if, care anymore, don't care and it's truly all. that. And I'm not just fronting. That's it's what truly. I was saying. Thank you. That's what I was saying. I just said that to okay. everybody. That's what I said. We have to clear up. We just clear up. That's all. Stuff. And I, that's all I was saying earlier. When I first made my point and got attacked because I was saying I don't care, I don't need to care. Why? <laughs> that's what they want for me to care. I don't give a fuck. I really don't.
Like they, they, if, they, if you're ignorant enough to do that, you know, do to that's it's like you. it's like when they use that, they're really dissing themselves when they do that. You're playing yourself. So I'm laughing at you like word, like you really played yourself. I don't have to say anything to you. Literally, like that's when you that's how that's how ignorant you are that you would say that to somebody like, like that. I don't I don't get it. Cause like imagine if we took this word away. Like it's erased or people stop using it. What happens? Nothing changes. Guarantee you nothing changes. We start like, calling each other drive turkeys. Give it a year or two, <laughs> there will be another <laughs> word. <laughs> like serious. Like and that's what I, nothing and that's what I said. And that's what I said. I said, are we actually taking the word away or are we taking it away the way people look at us? Right. That's what I that's exactly so the word, what I said when I got in here. So the right. word do, does not mean technically the word technically doesn't mean anything. But the history behind the word, the unalivings that happen behind the word. I mean, the unalivings that happen behind this word, I would say probably happen a lot more than any other word. I can probably contest to that. I can probably find facts on that. And that's probably why people get offended. Because I think when I see it, when I hear it, I think of like death. I think of, sorry, I think of being unalived by somebody who looks that way. I think about Emmett Till. That thing just pops in my head. I'm sorry I get offended by it. I'm sorry I get mad about it. But I do see a lot of unalivers and our ancestors and people of, of, that look like us, and on top of young people. So I, that's the reason why I feel that way. And yeah, Kayla, I, did, I never attacked you. I don't know if you were talking about me, but I never attacked you about not no, liking the about word. You. But, yeah, it was, but it was, I was, was okay. Though. You good, Nico. It was, oh, it was okay. Oh, okay. earlier. Oh, okay. Okay. And I also I remember that Chris Rock had the comment special where Chris Rock said, as a black man, he was like, he uses that word for us. If there's some, we all know that when we see some ignorant folk like us, we're going to say, yeah, them go some them over there because they're, because they fool, they foolish. They cut up. Right, but you, don't say, you don't say that to people who are, you, but you don't say that to other people. You say that to one demographic of people. Now, if that was a, a word you said for just the sake of being ignorant, no, but, being I'm saying, but yeah, but all, all races have that word, like, like, like YT people. They'll use the C word or the redneck word, or they they have their own words for people in their race who be cutting up and acting ignorant. They got words for them. And so we 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 use that word as well. But it, we, we have so many different ways of context using it. Like like it can be loving that word. I know it sounds crazy, but it really can be loving that word, depending on how you use it. So I mean, <laughs> it's, it's context to it and we should just absolutely not care when other people do it. That's that's because we took we've been took the word back. We've been been beating them up for them using it. You know what I'm saying? We've been losing our cool, going to jail, getting in trouble behind, responding to it negatively. Now we just don't care no more. But we'll still use it amongst ourselves, depending on the context and how we're using it. I mean, it ain't going nowhere. Not so yeah, I'll definitely just, not going just... nowhere. I can tell you that right now. I, I may not be around to see it, but mm, mm. it ain't going nowhere, man. I mean, hey, it is what it is. It's a part of our existence. Once I'm you made it, can't be unmade. No, I think it's, it's not a part of our existence. Hold on, wait, real quick, guys. I I just gotta say, hold on, real quick, guys. I just gotta say something. We are gonna close up in five minutes, um, and I'll give everybody two minutes show time. But I will say this: this is the first time I am on a live with Free, and I've slightly agreed with him. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Right. That I'm is crazy, doing man. this topic again. I can't believe I'm, I'm agreeing with free of all people. My goodness. <laughs> and I'm agreeing with a Yaju member. That's really that's a whole cult. <laughs> crazy. Can't stand Yaju. You can't stand Yaju. Would you reach out to Yaju? They are whole, no, y'all. That's, that's the worst you, cult out right now. That's the worst cult out right now. They're delusional and they do it on purpose to get money and deceive people. It's the worst cult out right now. They worse huh? than the Hebrew Israelites, I swear, bro. Who are they? Yes. The, the They're Yaji. worse than the Hebrew Israelites, bro. I gotta do some research. I never heard of the uh, Jews. They Me believe either. in a human. They, they think a man is Jesus, and he was on tour in California and Miami. Wait, you talking about that one time with the lady, she was here, she was it's talking multiple about- multiple times, now you missed it. We got I... raided by them. One of them had- Oh, you got raided? Earlier. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Wasn't that like 2019, 2020, when they said that Jesus had came back and they was worshiping that man and taking him across the country and stuff? 
That's so stupid. Yes, but like, now he has business papers and stuff. He says he's making a new government. Oh wow, that's a cult. That's a cult. Mm-mm. So are they are they like the sovereign citizens? They trying to say that they are gonna get our people and make our own government and separate from the government. <laughs> that, right. hey, that ain't gonna last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Remember, y'all, Acom is trying to build that city in Af in some part of Africa. You know that that's what Yaju gonna do. Yaju but Acom got the resources for it, though. But he's saying his government is gonna take over the whole world. That's not gonna happen. No. Like, we know. Like, New world like he's he's gonna end just like every other cult. Like it all is the same. Ooh. New yeah, world and order, everybody huh? in it, they all have the same looking girl. Like all the girls in that cult look the same exact way. Hey, Jayla, wait, wait, Jayla. I I know. Do you know that Arch Evolution girl? Have you seen her? Yes, I've been I've been in the Yaju lives multiple times now. Wait, is is that one his wife or? Yes, and he be using her account to go live sometimes. And then the one that was here with us, Saint Juju, he also has a girl that sits next to him. <laughs> And they just sit back and forth and like quote scriptures and shit, bro. That shit crazy. <laughs> like I'd be lurking in their lives. Remember I sent you them screenshots and I was like, oh, um, my dog said he wanted to smoke. Y'all come to his live. That's hey, just... free. Free? Free, are you there? Yeah. He talking to Jesus. Oh, what's <laughs> the uh, see, well, I believe, well, he might, he might. See. But uh, a free. Well, since you were born in the eighty, uh, what did you think about the uh, raid and the, the investigation of Malachi Z York? Man, that's crazy. What yeah, Malachi that, Z York? That, that's exactly what this is. This is this Yaju thing. That it, well, it, nah. Actually, they use the Bible. They the, the Malachi. They mostly use like the Sumerian tablets. That's more like the the uh, the carbon the carbon nine ether. The spirituality people that be on here. That's more like Malachi's New York, but um, I mean it's all it's all a ploy by men to to um have women and have and be thought of as a king and just it's just a delusion to feel like you're a king and and you can sexually abuse have all the women you want and that's basically been the the common denominator in in all of these cults. Now, now I got a question for you, Free. What is the difference between them and today's pastor? Well, big difference. A, a pastor, a pastor is not is not malicious um, with and in his intent to abuse people and take advantage of people. I'm talking about a true pastor. There's false pastors out here who are molesting people and abusing people and stealing from people. Trust me, there there's snakes in, in in every profession. But I'm saying a true pastor no, loves time. people, man. Like you know, what I'm saying we 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 believe what we have is true. And so we're going to give that truth to people because we love them. But these these cults, they just want to profit off people. Y'all do they scamming. They just want money, people to invest in them on this hope that they're going to go to Ethiopia. And it's not going to happen, but they're still going to get that money. And they'll probably get a couple wives out of it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I brought up Melchizedek Z. York because like Melchizedek Z. York, he was the most successful cult leader. That almost got away with that when he built a pyramids in Georgia, man. Right. He's in federal prison right now. I think for life, right? He got Yo, life. Yeah, he life. Well, you know, he got his son around. His son and everybody else carrying his legacy. They trying to say that he didn't do it, but they, you know, we got the evidence. People saying that, oh yeah, he did do it. You know, he had a pyramid. That man had his own farm, a pyramid in Georgia, uh, his own uh, ooh, community. I was like, man, this this is the most successful cult that ever did this, but I said something to myself. I said, hold on, there is something, there's a correlation between Malachi Z. York and today's Christians. And I put the correlation together and I said, hey, y'all, it's something similar about you guys. Y'all have money, y'all following religion, y'all doing things behind y'all, behind the back of people. I said, hey, hold on, it's, it's something similar to these guys, to today's pastors. I'm not gonna get into it, but you know where I'm going with it now. But uh, yeah, I was just saying, okay, I'm starting to see like a relation between where these guys had wives, you know, <clears throat> had the money, the building, the cars. I was like, okay, y'all both talking about the Holy Ghost. Y'all both talking about uh, freeing the people, you know, 
even with on um, Clefo Dollar and T Snakes and all them, they they uh they um talking about going going to places and you got the T D Jakes sweepstakes where you can win prizes and shit. I said, hey, hold on. There's something going on here. Well, in in every in every area in life, a corrupt person can use a title or a position to to mass corruption and take advantage of people in everything. Whether you're a police officer, a president, a, a pastor, a cult leader, a teacher, it doesn't matter. The corrupt people will abuse their positions on purpose. The jury and 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 T D Jakes. With all these allegations, he still hasn't been proven to have done anything. Yes, he went. He's a probably the most uh, popular pastor, or TV pastor. So celebrities are gonna uh, flock to him, um, and so he he yeah he went to Diddy party, but it's, it still hasn't been proven that he's really done anything crazy. I mean, I wouldn't be so. I mean, I, he's capable of it because he's human, but we can't just assume that TDJ is is is, uh, is grimy. Um, how we back on the topic, I just wanted to say I'm still on the fence about um, if the community should or shouldn't be using the word. I honestly believe in my heart that if we want to take back the work, we need to establish a community first. And that is something I don't even believe we have a community or a culture that is completely ours. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. I don't if if we wanted to establish who can and can't be saying a word, we need to establish who is a part of the community and who is not. Whether it's criminals, whether it's gangs, whether it's uh, people that are with growth and development and wanting to help out the community, or whether it's you know black and brown people that are just black and brown, you know, we need to establish those aspects of what we are as black people, African American, or so on and so forth. Uh, hey, can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Get up. Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I, I, I am a comedian. I do like racial comedy. Um, I do think it's a fine line between the whole entire thing, but I think it's just too much. I think if it's if it's not a a real fictional kind of thing, real fake. Uh, made to make make light of the fact that this word is ignorant, uh, then I I think that's that's a pa a pass if we're if we're gonna be making fun of the actual word. But the 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 reason why I have such a uh, backstory about this is because or or backlash about this um, or rebuttal about this is just because it's just been in our history, it's been ingrained, and on top of that, there's been a lot of unalivance with the with with that whole entire word. So that's that's my only issue. I just think it's. It is a fine line, or well, not a fine line, it's a thick ass line, I just say. <laughs> Thank you, Nico. Um, I don't really know what's going on. Um, I just got confused because I, I was not listening. I'm not gonna lie. We do need to run this topic back again. Jayla, I'll tell you why you're confused. What? <laughs> that fourth baby, that fourth baby telling you to stop at four. Stop at four. I don't know. I want a daughter, bro. It's not going to happen. It might, and I can't not see. <laughs> All right. I'll put, put $500 on it now that it's going to happen. <laughs> God, I'll, put five, I'll put $500 on it based off statistics. I will put $500 on it. All right. I'll, I'll go as high as one hundred. I ain't gonna higher than that. One fifty. I'll do one fifty. One fifty. One fifty is a girl. All right, bet. Er, er, all right, everybody heard. Er, er, right, I'm bet for Jayla's next kid. If it's not a girl, then I'm getting one fifty. If it is a girl, she getting one fifty. Yeah. Yep, I got several. <laughs> Oh, why you seem so young? I would have never thought that. Oh, good. Oh, is that ageism? You seem. Is that ageism? Thought... Yeah, like some... based on how you sound, based on how your profile yeah, like picture looks, based on how you sound, I would have. Based on how your profile picture looks.
Yeah. Based on how your profile picture look and how you sound, I would have uh, thought like maybe one at the most one, maybe. Because you, you know what I'm saying? Just come off real youthful. Well, I'm, I'm hey, hey, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go down. I wouldn't go down that route. She'll she'll jump on you. She jumped on me about it. So don't 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 go no, down that route. Right, no. You try. No, you try to call me a kid. Oh, I did. I don't like being <laughs> little. No, I did. I did. That and never I was came like, out my ain't nothing about me, child. <laughs> I, I, I know. <laughs> on my twenty four birthday. Hey, look, you know how we gotta close it. Niggas is talking shit. Call now. Four ninety nine per minute. What did you do? What did you do?